Tutankhamun's death mask is one of the most iconic artifacts ever recovered from Egypt, or probably the world. It is an awe-inspiring sight. However, what many people who visit Egypt to see these ancient relics are unaware of, a rather curious collection of artifacts found alongside the exquisitely casted mask of gold. Resting with Tut for all those centuries was more than likely a favorite pastime of the pharaoh, throwing his collection of Australian boomerangs complete with aboriginal artworks. Aboriginals were a civilization who also partook in the ceremony of mummification. Not only did they practice the techniques which made ancient Egypt famous, the two apparently separate cultures' methods were near identical to each other. The processes were so similar in fact, Salento, upon examining an aboriginal mummified child, concluded that the incisions and method of embalming were the exact same as those employed in Egypt between the 21st and 23rd dynasties. And he is not alone in his conclusion. In 1911, Elliot Smith also became especially interested in the fact that the Australian aboriginals and the neighboring peoples had certain customs of mummification which were very similar, if not identical to that of ancient Egyptian methods. Due to this evidence, people began to postulate a pre-Columbian visit to the Australian continent. This is, however, before one became aware of the Gosford Glyphs. Located near Carryong, about 60 kilometers north of Sydney, the hieroglyphs are unique in their appearance. The engravings number well over 300, yet vandalization has occurred with newer frauds appearing since 1986. Yet the original glyph's authenticity is unquestionable. The original image includes an engraved ankh, an essential accompaniment to Thoth, placed alongside an ibis footprint and the River of Life, the Egyptian crypt dedicated to the memory of the son of a pharaoh, said to be constructed close to the Dura Melon rock platform. The remarkable hieroglyphs thus strongly insinuate the presence of Egyptian ruins within Australia. Dated to the beginning of the 16th century some 5,000 years ago means these glyphs should form a pivotal and historic epitaph to an Australian history very few suspected. The hieroglyphs also contain unique and strange UFO symbols, with a figure seated at a control panel, a figure that could represent Pharaoh Akhenaten or something far more profound. It seems that not only do we have strong connections linking Egypt to Australia, but to many sites dotting the world. Tobacco and other things found in and around ancient Egypt has also provided compounding evidence to suggest a vast and highly sophisticated method of traversing the Earth's oceans thousands of years prior to the creation of the United States of America. We will endeavor to explore further evidence of the ancient Egyptian culture being present in Australia in an attempt to unearth further hidden details that may help us shed more light on our very distant past. As always, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, take care.